Hello guys, my name is Ian and welcome to Clipper. Today I want to show you how to do this kind of cool glowing effect in Unity. It's actually pretty easy. We'll start obviously with, the, with a new project in our Beloved engine. Let's call it Quick Tootsie for the sake of memes. Now I go make myself a coffee, maybe water plants in my garden and do the dishes. Eventually it's on. Now quickly, let's, since there is no time to waste, let's open Asset Store and search for M Key Glow Free. If you are bourgeoisie unlike myself, then you may go for the paid one, but I'll go for the free one. Anyways, import them assets. MKG is a set of pre-made shaders that work with the post-processing stack provided by Unity itself. First of all, let's change the lame camera settings for some good stuff. Dark grey, but not too dark. A perspective may stay. Okay, I put two 3D cubes and move them around the space just to demonstrate the effect better. You have to add MKey glue script to the camera you will operate. It is crucial step, so remember about it. In this setting you can choose to which item the effect should apply in order to filter out only the cubes. Uh, let's make a new layer because you can choose a lot of layers or you can be selective. So let's make a new layer. Let's call it glow layer. Now we apply the layer to our items and last but not the least we choose the layer in the camera setting. Okay, now we have to create a new shader, I mean new material that will use the shader. So there is like a gazillion of options, but we'll stick to the smartest one. If you didn't know, smartest stands for quick and effortless. So yeah, we choose selective then sprite then default. As a glow texture I choose default particle because it resembles a square and I am lazy as hell. Remember kids, always put the materials onto the items unless you don't want the effect to apply. So now the time for playing with colors. Okay, let's make a generic sprite using Unity Inspector. Uh, I guess it will be still better to use this kind of thing uh, for the glowing effect than some kind of default particle. Generally the tint obviously is used for the main color of the item, like in the normal uh, material. So let's make it yellow for the time being. There are some sliders. We put them to maximum to show that we are the real deal. One last step is to implement the post-processing stack from the Unity. In order to do that, we open package manager and search for post-processing and then import the thing. Be aware that it may take a while to load, so don't worry about it. So we import the hell out of it. Eventually we have to add post-processing layer to uh, our main camera and change the used layer to everything. Okay, uh, actually, we, actually we need one more object which is a post-processing manager or sort of. We create an empty and add post process volume. I create a new profile. It spawns somewhere. Now let's uh, let's find it and let's add bloom effect. So we tick the options and make the intensity yes in binary. And that's it. They glow. The cubes glow. You can play with different settings and colors like intensity or glow color. Some colors are better at glowing than others. Obviously, if we choose dark color like black, they will not glow. I mean, technically they would glow, but uh, it's like more of emission. <laughs> no? Okay, fine. So now uh, let me add a few more entities. So that uh, is how we achieve our final result. Generally the option is uh, quite nice looking. 
so it's very pleasant to see this kind of effect. Obviously, uh, it's it might be quite generic, so we have to be careful not to overuse the effect. But yep, that's it. That is how we achieve our final result. Thanks for watching and remember kids, always drink milk and do your homework. Peace. So well, that's it. Yep. Nothing more. Just go away.